Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another what if idea. It's been quite a while since we've done one actually but before we begin just a massive thank you as always to everyone who's recently subscribed and continues coming back to these videos. It's absolutely amazing and a massive massive thanks for all of your support because it is so 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 awesome um, with how far we've got now so just a massive thanks to you guys for that because it is absolutely awesome. And yeah also make sure to join my Discord server link in the description also we may try and make something pop up on the screen as well. Um, to see um, if I can get that to work as well, that'd be quite cool. But yeah, just make sure to join my Discord server down below to keep up with all the latest stuff uh, to do with the channel. Also request video ideas and send in solar systems to me to um, check out as well if you want to do that. So yeah, go ahead and make sure to do it. Link in the description. Um, and yeah, check that out. But yeah, that is everything. So let's get into today's video. So we're going to be heading to Jupiter today. Um, as you've probably already seen by the title, but yeah, here it is. So, yeah, today we're going to be doing what if all of Jupiter's moons were 10,000 kilometers in radius? This could be quite interesting, so obviously making them a lot bigger, that could cause some collisions and mess the Jupiter system up a bit. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this set up. So if we go ahead, pause it for a second, add the moons. So here we are, uh, and we're going to be doing it to the uh, most inner moons. So we're not going to be doing it to all the stuff out here, we'll do all of it up to Callisto. And then we'll see um, what sort of carnage we can um, cause to start. So we'll see moons like these, all of these insignificant ones, they're now going to be quite a big deal. Because also if you put them to 10,000, it's going to increase their mass. And that's already uh, bigger than Earth. And it's that close to Jupiter. So we can already work out that yeah, there's going to be something, um, some pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of collisions here. And it should be quite interesting to uh, see this happen. Because I reckon Jupiter will probably get involved in a lot of this as well. So yeah, there we go. The Galilean moons as well probably also will get um some of that action as well so yeah there we go and now they're all going to be equal in size it'll be interesting to see who um comes out on top this time around so there we go ganymede there we are europa's done all right and then callisto is the last moon in the this area so we're not going to go any further out than that so there we have callisto done oh no not 1000 we want 10,000. there we are 10,000 rats right? so they're all at 10,000 now all of inner moon yeah all of the inner moons so as we can see already it's looking uh, pretty cool with all the large moons here. We'll go ahead and save it um, just in case anything goes wrong. So we'll just call it uh, Jupiter 10,000. And actually, this actually um, this idea actually strings back to a really old video of mine where I made all of Saturn's moons 5,000 kilometers in radius. And I never did the other planets. So I thought I'd get around and uh, do it because these were quite fun ones to um, watch. Um, so yeah, if you I could redo the Saturn if you guys want that. But I definitely plan to do Uranus and Neptune's moons after this as well. But yeah, stay tuned for those. And let me know. Do you want me to do Saturn again? But now, let's uh, slow down time. So I reckon action will probably happen very quickly here. So we've got our Jupiter. So all we need to do now is click play. And let's see what will happen here. So I reckon Roosh Limit will definitely start tearing these closer two of them up. But it will keep an eye on the orbits here as well because I reckon this isn't going to last. I mean, look how close these two are. I mean, they're probably already on a collision course. They are They are definitely going to collide. We can see that Roosh Limit is tearing some of the closer ones up. But yeah, these guys are about to collide while being torn up by Jupiter as well. They are Surely they're going to collide. Yeah, here we go. So we'll slow it down. Watch the action in there. There we go. So as we can see, yeah, they are they're going to be uh, destroying each other momentarily while being torn up by Roosh Limit at Jupiter as well. So, yeah, that's already um, trouble. And we're only a few a few minutes in and there's already trouble going on. So this one's being torn up. These two are colliding together. I'm pretty sure the other one on the other side is also being uh, torn up by Jupiter. But as we can see, loads of particles and just collisions and stuff being happening here. And actually, one thing, um, we'll also add Jupiter's ring just to uh, also see what would happen to that because I'm pretty sure that's not going to last either. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. There we go. So we can already see it. These moons have already... They're already going to start destroying the rings because they're in the ring system themselves. So there we go. But yeah, as we can see, this collision is now finished. So the victor is this moon here. And the other one is completely gone. So that will now get a lot more mass out of that. And obviously some of this mass could escape or form um, part of the rings as well. But um, yeah, there we go there. So Jupiter's rotating. Yes, yeah, so the custom Jupiter as well looking pretty good. So um, yeah, there we go. So they are um, done now. So let's go ahead and speed this up. And as we can see, the rings are already being shot around. Some of the particles are falling in the planet themselves. And yeah, the rings are just already split in half by these two moons. But... Yeah, I'm not expecting them to last too much longer um, with tidal heating and all that as well. And they'll probably collide with each other at some point as well. Looking further out to the outer moons now, so all the way up to Callisto. Not too much is going on over there since they're quite far distance from each other anyway. And Jupiter's mass is still very dominating, so maybe maybe those moons won't collide. But I reckon Io may be drawn in on some of the action. Io may just about be close enough to maybe be pulled in, or maybe it won't. Who knows? 
Yeah, these three remaining inner moons, they're definitely going to have some bad times. So as we can see, these two are dangerously close together. And yeah, I doubt, I doubt they'll be lasting much longer. So let's uh, continue to speed things up. This thing, Roosh Limit is now tearing that one apart. It can't last any longer. So it's just lost mass there. The rings are just being eaten up as well by all these guys. But yeah, that is uh, not too good. Jupiter's had some collisions as well. With all the pieces falling in there. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, all that mass is flying around. It's a ton of mass. All, all this is larger than Earth as well. Remember all these objects. So yeah, pretty crazy stuff there. How's Io? Io's still just hanging on out there. Not too much going on. But look at all those collision marks on Jupiter there. Damn. And with all the extra bands, it does look really cool when it all distorts it. So yeah, if we just go on studio mode and then go on the planet itself, just look at these marks. What have they done to the bands? All those um, gases and stuff all being ruined by these um, objects here. So let's, here we go. You see, those two, those guys are orbits. They are going to collide eventually. I mean, look how close. Yep, they pulled each other. To, yep, oh dear. And there we go. And that moon's completely obliterated already. So there we are. But now... <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. But now they have collided. The second moon has been launched into the planet. So this is going to be a pretty insane collision here. So yeah, we'll keep it on... Uh, we'll go on flashlight mode just so we can see all the action here. Um, but yeah, there we go. So let's uh, slow it down and get all the action here. So, yeah, there we go. So now we're going to see it collide with the planet itself. So we can see really loads of particles are already crashing in as well, making those dark marks. But now the moon itself is going to be consumed by the gas giants. Here, as we can see, that's a pretty darn big explosion. I mean, there we go. look at that. Look at the marks it's making on the bands as well. Getting a bit of lag, but it should be all right. So, yeah, there we go. And that's a pretty big explosion. But before we finish the explosion, let's just go all the way out to the moons really far away. So let's just go to this moon here. Let's see if we can see that collision all the way from over here. So there we go. Let's turn it off. And actually, I think all the rings sort of make it um, quite hard to see in all the particles. But you can definitely see a glow coming from Jupiter. And that glow is definitely from this. So yeah, there we are. And obviously the planet itself is still visible anyway. But yeah, check that out. You'll probably be able to see this from anywhere in the Jupiter system. Because that's, that's a pretty big explosion. I mean, if we compare the, the size of Earth to this explosion. So if we get an Earth here, that is Earth. So this explosion is probably about, you could probably fit a couple of Earths in there. So yeah, pretty, pretty big explosion right there. But let's continue now. And it's gone. Completely obliterated by the planet. But there's still a massive explosion on the side of the object there. So yeah, there we go now. The rings are completely ruined as well. Particles have been spread out pretty far out over here that's beyond the orbit of europa i want to say wow so, oh that's callisto but yeah some of these particles all the way out to callisto now so um yeah pretty insane stuff there as we can see um yeah that, that particle i can't actually click on it but there is a particle there which is quite close to callisto now but yeah there we go so let's continue let's speed up time and there we go so that big explosion is causing all of these after effects that looks quite cool but yeah there we go it's like a huge mark on jupiter there that probably take quite a while for the clouds to clean that up We've also got more on this side, the red spot um, there as well. This other moon, look at all of the impacts this has had from all the damaged debris around here. So yeah, there we go there. Let's continue. Is this, how's this moon going to do? Is it going to survive? It's, it's picking up mass, actually, from all these guys. Oh, but that's going to get close to Io. That could draw Io inwards. It looks like Europa. I want to say Europa may be getting a little closer, but I reckon this moon could have some sort of instance with Io if they are in the wrong place at the wrong time there. We can also see Jupiter as well. It's actually heated up from that enormous collision there. But I reckon you, these two, are going to have a collision at least there. So there we are. I think Europa may just be safe, but I reckon Io, if we keep running this, I reckon Io could eventually be pulled in here. So we've got to keep an eye on that. Just depends how Io's orbit works. Also, since all the moons are larger, the moons of Jupiter, they're going to be pretty unstable. As we can see, some of them could actually escape into the sun orbit instead. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, those moons, Io and then this one here. Which one is this? This is uh, Phoeob here. I hope I'm saying that right. But yeah, we've got these two here. I reckon those could have a collision if Io just gets too close at the wrong time. Or, or, and if we just pause it there, it looks like Europa and Ganymede may be having a little um, battle between themselves. Let's get a little watch on this. How are those guys going to compete here? So we'll keep on trails. Could it looks They could be drawing each other in closer. I mean, if they, if they bring Ganymede in as well, that could be quite interesting. But um, yeah, there we go. Let's keep it running a bit more. But yeah, I think they're going to have a collision. And that could cause... Oh, yeah, that... Oh, just paused it in time. Let's go ahead and slow down. Turn off orbit so we can get the real good look at it. So, yeah, there we go. Keep an eye on the inner part over there. But it looks like those two are far enough. But, yeah, Europa versus Ganymede. Who do you think is going to win out of these two? So, let's go ahead and click play. And here we go. So, yeah, they are practically touching now. 
So there we go, creating a huge explosion. Looks like um, Ganymede's stolen some of the water material from Europa. But Europa's actually victorious out of these two. It must have had more mass to begin with there. But look at all these enormous particles, all these fragments here. So Europa there, probably going to melt all that um, ice, no problem now, with that collision. It's probably going to turn immediately to steam. And yeah, it's probably going to get quite warm here since it's 2,000 degrees now. But ne the question is, has that impact made it so it will get closer to Jupiter? And the answer is it has. So this impact is now going to propel Europa closer to the planet. And that that could have interferences with Io. It could have interferences with this one as well. Yeah, we're about to watch even more craziness go down there. I think Callisto now at this point is safe since, uh, since Europa is moving inwards. Callisto and everything beyond that should be okay. But we could see a final battle between these three. So if, if Europa ends up pulling Io in as well, that could just cause even more carnage. But the question is, will it pull Io now? Oh, that's, all three of them are really close here. That is pretty crazy. I mean, Io hasn't been touched yet. It's the only one that hasn't been touched out of these major moons here. And obviously Callisto as well. But it looks like those two may be finally having what I predicted with a little collision between themselves. So Io, the volcanic moon versus this. And yet they are going to smash into each other there. So Europa may have got away with that actually um, escaping there. But let's go ahead and watch it now. So Io going to be completely obliterated or maybe not let's see so there we go versus that one is io going to be victorious it looks like it is and yes it is io has taken it so there we go but has has its orbit been destroyed oh very very close to jupiter now of its orbit that could that could be a problem for io it may be completely torn up by um, jupiter now so there we go but we see just enormous rocks um smashing into it with all these collisions so yeah, Io has been completely ruined, and since it's already volcanic, I wonder what it's going to be like now with all of that impact. It'll probably make the moon go crazy with all that um, volcanicness on it already, but as we can see, being even closer to Jupiter, the, since Jupiter's gravity is just even stronger now, it probably would just make this thing erupt like crazy, because it already gets enough pressure from Jupiter to make it erupt anyway, but being this close, yeah, Io's probably going to be completely destroyed from the inside with all the uh, lava it contains there, but it looks like it survived its first encounter with Jupiter there now. So the question is, will it have a collision with Europa to end this off? Because they're the only two left. So really, it's lost a bit of its size. But the question is, can it survive around Jupiter before it gets to Europa or not? So we can see there, I reckon Bruce Limit will have some sort of instance with that. But maybe Europa will get all the way around and actually have a final battle between those two. So the two victors of all of the collisions here. So yeah, there we go. So Io killed the previous victor there, which um, destroyed the other moon. But it looks like... Um, Io and Europa may have a collision here. They just have to be in the right place at the right time, after all. Will they? Oh, they may need to have another lap round by the looks of it. Looks like Europa may get pulled away. Yeah, it's going to go away again. So we just have to wait and see, honestly. So let's keep it, uh, keep it running at a decent pace, just so Europa can get all the way around again. They just need to be in the right place at the right time to cause this collision. So, right, we'll have to watch. Okay, this one may be a little more promising. Oh, Io... Coming around pretty quick. Is it going to make it? No. Europa's still um, still in loop there. So let's see here. Jupiter's warmed up again from more um, impacts. So yeah, there we go. Those two are very... Oh, now that is dangerously close between those two. Io is travelling around pretty quickly. So let's see. Will it draw Europa inwards or Europa continue to orbit? So there we go. Oh, Europa's orbit's been extended by that. Okay. Interesting, but they just need... Oh, and that looks like that little um, close encounter looks like it may have killed Io. So it looks like Europa may actually escape this completely, but that close encounter has changed Io's orbit. So now it's going to battle with the planet itself, and we probably all know how that's going to result. So here we go. Versus Jupiter, the big planet all by itself. It's going to be no chance, and yeah, it's gone. So Jupiter has incinerated a second one now. And yeah, there we go. So I don't think anything else is going to happen. Look how much bigger it got. 100,000. Hmm. That's quite a lot more size there. It's only gained um, 0.05 uh, mass there. But yeah, that's um, pretty insane stuff there. It's got a lot bigger. Uh, let's see um, Earth. So 333 Earths now. So a little bigger. There we go. But Europa. The question is, will it lure Callisto? I don't think it will. But we'll keep it going. Uh, where is Callisto anyway? Callisto, yeah, I, I'm really not seeing Callisto have any confrontation with Europa there. I mean, we can run it for a little bit. But yeah, this has been a pretty intense um, bunch of collisions. This And yeah, pretty fun to record, I have to say. This is actually pretty cool. So yeah, there we go. So there's Europa. So Callisto, yeah, I'm not seeing them have any um, confrontation between the two. There's no way. 
I'd be very surprised if Europa can draw it in. So yeah, look, you just saw it got close to it there and nothing happened. Yeah, I'm not seeing Europa get much closer to Callisto than what it is already. There's no more objects for Europa to compete with anyway. It's actually larger than what it started out as as well from destroying Ganymede and picking up all that other material. Obviously, it's been battered to bits with um, craters and impacts. Obviously, half of the moon was hit by Euro um, Ganymede there. So you can see, I'm assuming this area here is where Ganymede hit it. As we can see, it's very distorted there of a giant crater. But yeah, Europa's actually came out victorious. So the smallest of the Galilean moons actually turned out to be the biggest in the end. Um, right there. So there we go. Yeah, I'm not seeing it have any instance with Callisto. So Callisto gets away scot-free. Nothing's even happened to it. It's just chilling in its normal orbit. The other moons, their orbits have been changed a bit, as we can see. But they're still all in orbit of Jupiter. The rings are non-existent at this point. We'll just go ahead and remove those um, just to stop the lag. But yeah, Jupiter itself has taken a massive battering as well. I mean, look at all these impact marks on it. So Jupiter's taken a huge um, instance of damage there. But yeah, Europa does not seem to be having any instance with Callisto there. You can see its orbit does change, but it just reverts. So I'd say that orbits are now fairly stable, um, as we can see there. So yeah, that will end off today's video. But it looks like with Europa and its new orbit, Jupiter is never going to cool down. It looks like every time they um, get close to each other, a tidal interaction happens, and it just warms Jupiter up again. So it looks like Jupiter is forever in hot temperatures now for the time being since Europa strays too close to it. So it doesn't it's not close enough for Europa to be torn apart um, since it must have enough mass just to survive that at 3.2 Earths. But it's still enough to cause some tidal effects to warm Jupiter's temperatures. You can see it goes up into 1000 briefly there before going back down to about 600 before it rises again. So now a new sort of weather on Jupiter of constant um, heating every few um, hours or every few days, I'd say, because uh, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, okay, every every couple of days, I'd say, it has a, a heat increase. So Jupiter is never going to cool down, again, unless Europa has a collision with Callisto. But by the looks of it, that isn't going to happen anytime soon, since the orbits seem pretty stable um, with they are now. But as you can see, as every time Europa gets closer to Jupiter, it also upsets all of the other moons, which is um, quite an interesting thing there as well. So, um, yeah, pretty cool outcome, I think, we've got here. Um, between all of these moons. But yeah, there was no point going any further than Callisto since I doubt any of these moons would have any collisions since they're just so far apart from each other. So, yeah, they're very insignificant anyway. So we've only done the inner moons of Jupiter, Callisto, and Woods. I think that's where all the action would have been anyway since they're so close. But, yeah, I'd say we got a pretty good um, share of action today with um, all of these guys. So, yeah, that is everything, guys. What do you think of um, today's video? I'd say it's a this was a pretty good one. And yeah, I don't know why I didn't do this sooner since I did the original Saturn video on this a very long time ago. I'll leave a link to it maybe at the end or something for the previous episode of this. Or maybe I should remake it. What do you guys think um, in the newer version of the game? Let me know um, your thoughts on that. And also, I'll definitely have to get around to do Uranus and Neptune as well. I think that would be pretty cool to do. Um, so yeah, that is everything, guys. Let's see if we can get today's video to 40 likes. Also, um, subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 11,000 subscribers. And yeah, also make sure to join my Discord, like I said at the start of the video. Um, so keep up with all of the um, news about the channel. And yeah, just chat with me in general. And also send me um, solar systems if you want me to check them out in a video um, at any point. So yeah, make sure to go ahead and do that um, if you are interested. But yeah, that is everything. So as we can see, Jupiter... Completely battered the bits now with its um, new setup of moons. But yeah, that's everything. So make sure you guys all have a great day. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.